If I were to ask you to rate yourself on a scale of one to 10, what would you rate yourself? And you can't say seven. If you set a six or below, then this video is for you because this means that you have room for improvement. If you're not the most attractive person in the looks department, you can do something with your hair. You can do something with your skin. You could do something with your clothing. I'm going over things in this video in order of greatest importance to least importance. So the number one thing that you can do right now that will instantly make you feel more confident, make you look more attractive to other people as well, and feel more attractive yourself is to lose weight. Nine times out of 10, people that lose weight end up looking better without doing anything different, without changing their hair, without changing their attitude, their personality, their teeth, the way they dress. If someone goes from 200 pounds and being overweight to 170 pounds and being more lean and more muscular, they end up looking better. Really, all things else not even considered, losing weight is the biggest thing that you can do to improve your looks. Now, I'm not saying lose so much weight that you look disheveled and sickly. However, losing fat, if you have excess fat on your body, will usually make you look a bit more attractive because when you lose fat, you don't just lose fat on your stomach, you also lose it in your face. And when your face becomes more defined and more chiseled and more lean, the more attractive you're gonna look. It really accentuates the features and the uniqueness of your face. The fatter you become, the more circular your face looks, more round, more adolescent, more chubbier. And the leaner you are, the more chiseled it looks, whether it's your jawline, your cheekbones, your temples, your neck even. And being lean is a sign of health, and we wanna look as healthy as possible if we wanna be as attractive as possible. The second tip, which also kind of piggybacks off of weight loss, is muscle gain. We all can agree that if someone is 170 pounds, one person is skinny fat, one person is muscular. Because one has more muscle, they appear healthier, they appear stronger, they appear more fit. If one person has more muscle, they're going to look better. Obviously, that is how it works. You can ask anyone. No one will ever say a person that is skinny fat is more attractive than a person that is muscular. I know a lot of people might be afraid to work out because they don't want to look like those IFBB pro bodybuilders don't want to be too big. And let me tell you something right now. It's harder than you think. <laughs> I've tried to get as big as I can and I'm still normal looking. So please do not be concerned about getting too big because that's never going to happen, honestly, unless your genetics are one in 10 million. So what does that mean from you? Does that mean if you're ugly, you can't have muscle? No, not at all. You just start going to the gym more. You start eating properly. And those two things are going to make you immediately more attractive after a few months of work. You'll feel better about yourself and people will also find you more attractive. And that's going to also boost your confidence as well, which is going to take you up from that 7 out of 10 or that 6 out of 10 to that 10 out of 10. Next, if you're already pretty lean and you're muscular and vascular and have a good body, the next thing that you can do is to start fixing your hair. We all know that hair is considered a guy's makeup. A haircut can make a guy look like a complete weirdo to a handsome Greek god. And that goes the same thing with facial hair as well, if you guys can grow a full beard. We all know someone with a patchy beard can look a little creepy. And if they have a full beard that's shaped and nice with their face shape, it looks good. They look masculine. They look like an adult. And these are the things that you guys have to pay attention to. Even though they're really small, they make huge differences when you start doing all of these together and they start stacking. I personally prefer a middle part, and I personally have high cheekbones, so I like to have bangs that sit right above them to accentuate my cheekbones. Some people, they have a nice head shape, and a shaved head or a bald head would look good. It all depends on your face shape, your hair type, your hair color, if you have any balding, and all these different factors. So go to a barber and ask them what hairstyle will suit you the best. I've made tons of videos on hair on this channel if you guys aren't sure what hairstyles are best for you. But if you know how to do these two things and really make them pop and stand out and be unique and fit your face, you're going to look 10 times more attractive. Next, once you guys take care of all of that, I would say that your skin would be the next most important thing. Do you guys have lots of pimples all over your skin? Do you guys have rashes? Do you guys have dandruff and dermatitis like I have dermatitis? Do you guys have different skin conditions that may be unique to you that you can fix to make you feel better, to make you look better? Is your skin cracked? Can you moisturize it? Can you make it look smoother? Can you hydrate with oils? Depending on the kind of skin that you have, you might need to do something different than someone else to make it look healthy and hydrated. 
And I have a minimal skincare routine that I personally follow. It's somewhere here on this channel if you guys want to check that out. Having good skin will immediately make you more attractive because it's the largest organ on your body. Uh, it's going to make a big difference in how you look and other people will say so too. Next, we're moving on to teeth. Teeth play such an important role when looking attractive. Have you ever looked at someone and said, oh, that person looks really attractive. Then you look at their teeth when they smile and you're like, hmm, that person is not attractive at all. Is because our teeth say a lot about us. They say a lot about our habits, about what we do in our life. Are they yellow from smoking? Are they missing because we get into fights all the time? Are they rotted and full of cavities because we don't brush them or take care of ourselves or eat a good diet? They say so much about you. And depending if you have good teeth or not can really make you attractive or unattractive. When you have straight and white teeth, it's immediately going to boost your attractiveness because it's going to make your entire face look more symmetrical. The more symmetrical your face is, the more attractive you are. Lastly, when it comes to style, and this is a hot take, I personally don't think style matters all that much when determining how attractive someone is. You can see Brad Pitt in a suit versus in gym clothes or in a t-shirt and shorts. And someone's gonna say he looks attractive either way. However, you can see an ugly person wear a suit and it's gonna be like, well, he's still ugly. It doesn't really matter because what matters is your physical person, your hair, your teeth, your eyes, your skin, your weight, your muscularity. It doesn't really matter what clothes you wear to an extent. It can improve things, but that's the last thing you guys should be worried about. If you haven't already lost a lot of weight, got a lot of muscle, fixed your hair, fixed your teeth and your skin. I would focus on those things first and foremost before moving on to style. But at the end of the day, if you guys want a quick tip on how to be more attractive as far as your style goes, if you guys have already taken care of all that other stuff, is to first and foremost wear stuff that fits and wear stuff that is clean and wear stuff that suits your skin color. You wanna wear clothes that accentuates the features of your body. You don't want clothes that are too tight, you don't want clothes that are too loose. You want them just right. The fit is more important than the color and the color is more important than the quality. And so that pretty much wraps up the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to look max yourself, how to become more attractive and everything that you can do right now in order to make that happen. If you guys like other videos on this topic and other men's self-improvement videos, check out a few of them right here on my channel.